on to the next question. This is your third question. Another interesting question. This patient is most likely to have which of the following additional findings out of amenorrhea, aphasia, double vision, loss of memory. What do we see in this patient is there is loss of temporal visual field in both the eyes. That is how you try reading the question in between the lines. Because if you try reading from the first, generally the first two lines are the distractors and they are time wasters, right? So you should always read the question in the reverse manner to save your time. Loss of temporal field, when I see this, it rings a bell in my mind that this is something related to cellar, supracellar lesion, that is some pituitary lesion which there is what we are thinking about, right? And when you have this pituitary lesion given, along with the features asked what will be there so just based on this you can mark the answer as amenorrhea because the most common pituitary adenoma that you have prolactinoma so increased prolactin which suppresses which inhibits the gnrh and that is why it decreases the fsh lh levels and that is how it can lead to amenorrhea right prolactinoma galactorrhea that leads to amenorrhea is this clear with everyone right so this is going to be the answer here is going to be amenorrhea aphasia will be seen with brocas and vernicase that is frontal lobe and temporal lobe lesions there double vision diplopia like it may be in reflective errors or the nerve palsy like we have seen and loss of memory like hippocampus is affected uh, the memory wala pathway that is when there's going to be loss of memory so this is prolactinoma right and 